Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing some new sunscreens from the drugstore. When we think of these brands, I think a lot of people assume that they are affordable, but if you haven't noticed, a lot of these brands have gotten kind of expensive in the last few years. Um, so don't spend more than you have to. For me, I love maximizing my savings using the Drop app. Today's video is in partnership with the Drop app. What is the Drop app? It's seriously the easiest to use rewards app that gives you points back from purchases that you make at your favorite retailers like Sephora or DoorDash. And then those points you can then redeem for gift cards within the app. I've been using it for several years now. And to me, it's more than just a rewards app. It's actually providing a solution to everyday little sticking points when it comes to trying to maximize savings. I'm somebody who likes to get the best deal, but I seriously don't have time to seek out every deal and savings offer there is out there. And that's why I like the Drop app because it allows me to shop and know that I am gonna get those points back that I can later use for gift cards at places like Amazon. Especially now we're buying more stuff online. Uh, I, you know, I like to buy my groceries sometimes from Walmart, Walmart grocery, and I love being able to get points back. I mean, it's really gratifying. Um, and I, I buy a lot of my skincare favorites on Skin Store. And as of the filming of this video, Skin Store currently is uh, having a sale, 20% off. But then within the Drop app, they have stacked that deal with 80 points per dollar purchase. So you can really get a lot of rewards points back from just buying a new sunscreen on Skin Store. Drop is super easy to use too. All you have to do is go to the shop page, tap on the offer that you're interested in and hit shop now. Then you go through the store's website or app, make purchases as you ordinarily would, check out as you ordinarily would, and then points are automatically added to your account within the Drop app. And those points you can later redeem for gift cards at your favorite merchants like Starbucks and Amazon. There are also card linked offers linked to your credit card or debit card. To make sure that you're taking advantage of this, you wanna um, ensure that you have linked either a credit card or debit card to the Drop app. Then you're gonna hit the plus um, icon and that way you can add your favorite retailers and Drop will automatically give you points back when you shop through those retailers by, uh, by making credit card purchases or debit card purchases. Yeah, Drop has so many benefits. It allows you to double dip on savings. You know, your favorite retailer may be having an ongoing sale. Not only can you take advantage of the sale, but then you can get those rewards points back. So you're getting even more savings. And it's hassle-free. You don't have to clip any coupons. You don't have to scan any receipts. Who doesn't love shopping guilt-free too? Especially if you make a splurge, you don't have to feel bad about, um, you know, about that. You're getting some rewards points back. It kind of buffers buffers that. And then you can then you can use those points to, to get gift cards at your favorite retailers. To get started with the Drop app, go ahead and click the link in my description box to download the app from the App Store or Google Play. Use code DRE to get a $10 bonus in the form of points. That is 10,000 points. Drop will give you those points when you earn your first 1,000 points by completing offers within the app. And that is very easy to achieve. I mean, really easy. You'll be there in nothing flat, and then you get a $10 bonus. So thank you, Drop, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Cetaphil launched two new mineral sunscreens this year. Um, mineral sunscreens are a great option for people who have really sensitive skin and find that chemical sunscreens burn or sting. Mineral sunscreens are also great around the eyes where the skin is much thinner and more prone to irritation. Uh, people find that a lot of sunscreens burn or sting and I always recommend trying a mineral sunscreen on the eyelids, they tend to be easier to tolerate. Unfortunately, a pitfall of mineral sunscreens is that they do leave a white cast um, and that is problematic for people with deeper skin tones. Uh, so manufacturers, they, you know, they, they do their best to try and make the particle size of the zinc or titanium dioxide smaller to allow for a more sheer formulation, but there's always some degree of a white cast. Cetaphil actually did a pretty good job with their new formulas, I have to say. Uh, first, let's talk about the sheer mineral sunscreen SPF 50. Um, Zinc and titanium dioxide are the active ingredients in this. It's water resistant, really gentle around the eyes, and it's super, super moisturizing. However, the cast on this is pretty hard to hack. For me, it's very, very noticeable. So if you have, you know, olive to deeper, you know, this is, I'm just warning you. Otherwise, it's great. 
<laughs> Free of fragrance, again, super moisturizing. It's not uber greasy either. Very, very good for around the eyes. Very, very good if you have rosacea prone skin, you're, you know, you're prone to sensitivity. Um, personally, I found that this sunscreen, while it left a pretty noticeable cast on me, if I put a tinted sunscreen on over it, it camouflaged it pretty nicely and I had no problem, I have no problem wearing this. Uh, so if you are someone who wears foundation, makeup, you know, I do think you can easily camouflage the white cast with this. It's nice in that it doesn't pill or ball. I don't know what they mean by microbiome gentle. I mean, I know what they mean. Uh, Non-irritating. <laughs> Uh, you know, things that are irritating to the skin that can potentially disrupt the microbiome by impairing the moisture barrier, sure. Microbiome is kind of a trendy thing right now. This also has ceramides in it, which are good for the moisture barrier as well. Um, but let's talk about their other one, the Sheer Mineral Face Liquid Sunscreen. Titanium dioxide, in my experience, is the ingredient that tends to give a more notable white flash, uh, like not necessarily a white cast, but that kind of shiny white flash uh, that you notice under artificial lights in particular. This doesn't have that, but it does have zinc. The cast on this is much, is less than, is less than the, uh, than this one for sure. I'm wearing it currently. I put it on this morning and film myself applying it for you guys. I happen to think this is actually a very, very good cast for a mineral sunscreen. I mean, this is about as good as you get in my experience with mineral sunscreens. Um, you know, a, a lot of people enjoy the Pipette Baby one. I think that this cast is very similar to that. Uh, so if you tried that sunscreen, you liked it a lot as far as the cast, but you didn't care for the formula, some of you, and I agree, find that one to be kind of greasy or shiny, try this. It's not greasy. Um, it's a little on the shiny side. It is a water resistant formula. Sometimes that tends to occur, but honestly, I don't think it's that shiny. I think this is better just because it's a thinner formula uh, and is easier to apply makeup on over. Like, like this one, it doesn't pill. Um, these, these are very good sunscreens. Cetaphil did a really nice job with these. Doesn't surprise me. Cetaphil in the past few years has really been upping their game as far as product quality, in my opinion. They are very good for sensitive skin. If you have a deeper skin tone and you want a drugstore mineral sunscreen with minimal cast, try this. It's, it's very good. Um, in my opinion, it's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, I don't believe that there is a mineral sunscreen out there that is 100% cast free. It's always going to impart that kind of lavender look, ashen look to the skin. Uh, and some people are just fine with that. Depending on your skin tone, it, it may not be that noticeable, but I'm never gonna come on here, I'm not gonna come on here and say that a non-tinted mineral sunscreen is not gonna leave a cast. It's just, you know, it will leave a cast for very, very deep skin tones that you may not care for. But uh, if you wear makeup, you can easily camouflage them. Um, and I purposely didn't put it on my neck today so you guys could kind of see the contrast between um, where I put it all over my face and then my background skin tone, you know, normal skin. Uh, so, this, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with these and I, I think they did an awesome job on them. Okay, Neutrogena has come out with a new line of sunscreens. Now, my beef with Neutrogena sunscreens has always been that they are the one brand of sunscreens that really burns and stings my skin. Um, and I believe it's the oxybenzone in their formula. Well, this new Invisible Daily Defense line is free of oxybenzone and they have an SPF 60 plus chemical sunscreen. This leaves no cast and there's no oxybenzone. Doesn't burn, doesn't sting. And then they have an SPF 30. To me, these look pretty similar on the skin. There's no cast. Um, and they're both water resistant, which is good when you're going to be outdoors. It just ensures a little bit of extra durability as far as staying on the skin. You do still need to re reapply though when you're outside. Um, anyways, yeah, these look really good on the skin, but they added that horrible fragrance and it's quite strong. Um, so for me personally, I find that I'm gonna be using these 
on my body this summer a lot because I do like, you know, Neutrogena, they put a lot of R&D into the development of their sunscreen formulations. Uh, so they're very trustworthy from that standpoint. Uh, so I'll be using these on my body, but they do have a very, very, very strong fragrance that lingers. And if you put this on your face, it's, it's headache inducing. And the other problem with these sunscreens or potential problem is that everything in this line I believe has red dyes in it. Now red dyes can cause irritation for some people and potentially can aggravate acne for some people. I haven't had that issue. I have tried these on my face. Didn't cause any problems for me, but just know that going in. So for me personally, I will probably be using the 60 on my body this summer a lot. Um, and I'm glad that there's no oxybenzone because that tends to be irritating. Uh, I wish there was no fragrance or dyes in this. Um, and you may be wondering like 60 plus versus 30. The higher the SPF is actually better just because people don't end up applying enough to begin with. So that if you start out with a higher SPF, you're more likely to get a reasonable SPF. So those are the two lotions. They also came out with a spray, the Invisible Daily Defense Face Mist. Now I've got videos on the benefits and limitations of using sunscreen sprays. If you're gonna use a spray, you still need to rub it into the skin, which presumably you're trying to avoid when you're using a spray. This product uh, has no cast and it absorbs super quickly and it's a very quick absorbing formula because uh, it has, <laughs> as the cap falls off there, it has SD alcohol in it, low molecular weight alcohol. Um, so as I said, not a problem ingredient, but it can be drying. It allows for sunscreens to be more fast absorbing, which is actually, you know, beneficial if you're somewhere where you're really sweaty, it's very hot and humid. Sometimes a heavy sunscreen or heavy moisturizer on the skin, it can impair the evaporation of sweat and end up making you sweat more and, and feel overheated. Um, and so when people are outdoors really sweaty, they want a formula that isn't gonna feel greasy or heavy on the skin and make them feel hotter. This would be that, this would be that. It would you know, help, help in that sense. It's fast absorbing, easy to reapply. Um, it's, it, it's a quick dry formula. Unfortunately, like the other two products, this does have the fragrance in it. I actually end up using this a lot if I'm gonna be working out, working out outdoors and sweating. I like to use something like this to reapply sunscreen. It's easier. It is more comfortable and uh, you know, I, I just find that it's overall easier. So the way I apply sprays is I actually pump it into my hand and rub it in. Or I do multiple passes and then rub it in with my hand. And if I'm gonna do my face, I don't ever do this um, because you don't want it going in your eye, you don't wanna inhale it. I actually spray it into my hand and just pat it into the skin which, you know, if you're wearing makeup, <laughs> it's not really what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, so in, in summary, this may be a little drying if you have a dry skin type, but it may be desirable to you if you're working out very sweaty, hot and humid, uh, and you do still need to rub it in, so I don't think it's gonna help you in getting over the hurdle of reapplying over makeup. I have a video all about how to deal with reapplying when you wear a full face of makeup. Now, one that I love and I think is the best of all of these, does have red dyes in it, uh, but is free of fragrance, uh, is their new Invisible Daily Defense Face Serum. This is SPF 60, no cash, you guys. If you have medium to, deep, uh, medium to deep skin tone, you know, medium, medium to the deepest skin tone, try this, there's no cast. I mean, it's a chemical sunscreen. Uh, spreads onto the skin very, very easily. It does have the red dyes in it though, unfortunately. Um, but it doesn't pill, it doesn't ball. I mean, it would otherwise be beautiful had they not put that, those red dyes in there. Cause that, that's gonna be a, a pain point for some people, the red dyes. That's gonna cause irritation for some people. Um, but otherwise, this is a beautiful, beautiful formula that they created here. They need to make more products like this and skip out on the dyes. Um, this one is great. Highly recommend it aside from the dye issue. 60 plus is very good. You know, as I said, people under apply sunscreen. So shooting for a higher SPF just kind of helps guarantee that, you know, you get, you get a good, you get a good layer, you get a good SPF to begin with at, at the very least. 
Moving along though, chemical sunscreen, zero cast for people um, looking for a no cast sunscreen, not gonna cause any kind of cast or lavender look for people with very deep skin tones, are these black girl sunscreens. These are amazing. I love them to bits. Uh, this is a smaller brand, so I can't speak to the R&D behind it. Like I can't, you know, Johnson & Johnson has been around forever. Big labs, you know, you know that they, they have at their disposal. Same thing, Cetaphil, a Galderma brand, big labs. I mean, this smaller brand, so a little bit less, you know, I just can't speak to, to that aspect of it, but otherwise these are very good. No cast whatsoever. This is a kid's formula. It's actually empty. I've raved about it in several videos, but I'm bringing out the empty tube here to show you guys. It is water resistant, up to 80 minutes, SPF 50. I love the way this looks on the skin because it's got like jojoba seed oil and shea butter in it. It just gives your skin this nice luminous glow without being greasy. It doesn't pill, it doesn't ball. I believe this performs very well under makeup too. Um, you know, I don't wear makeup, so you know, take that with a grain of salt. I love this and it's under $10. <laughs> so yeah, I love this. It's very affordable. You can use it on the face, the body. Looks great, feels great. This, they did a really good job with. They also came out with this recently and I shared it with you guys in a recent vlog. I'll put the footage in of me applying it. It's their new Make It Matte SPF 45. This, like the kids, is um, free of fragrance and water resistant. And this one, now the kids one comes out as a white cream, blends onto the skin with zero cast. This, pretty much clear, colorless, colorless and clear. Um, and it calls itself a matte sunscreen. Uh, this product is actually pretty emollient uh, without being greasy or shiny. I like it, it doesn't burn or sting around my eyes. Oh, these are so good, I really like them. I especially like this, this one though because it's so affordable. Uh, but if you're intrigued by this, try it out. It reminds me of the Kylie Skin SPF that I enjoyed so much last year or the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This one stands out though uh, above those and that it's it's more emollient. Those are more silicone based, I would say, and they kind of have more of that pore blurring effect. Whereas this is really um, kind of helpful in terms of smoothing down dry skin cell edges without being greasy. It really does give the skin a nice glow and is easy to apply. So those two from Black Girl um, sunscreen, I really like. Derma E came out with um, some new sunscreens this year. They're all very good. But one that you need to look out for that I love, I mean, I like all of them, but this one is, you know, particularly makes me happy. It's their new scar cream with sun protection. They always had a scar cream. And it was just kind of like a moisturizer at, at one point. And it was like, so-so. Eh, but they have really made this so much better. Um, scars need sun protection. Sun, UV exposure, it impairs healing. So it's going to, you know, make the scar more noticeable, leads to hyperpigmentation and what have you. This is a mineral sunscreen. Um, and honestly, the cast on this, I'm gonna put it on my neck. The cast on this is actually much better than the Cetaphil one, which doesn't surprise me. It is a lower SPF, so that tends to equate to less of a cast. So there, there's gonna be less of a cast with this than, than the Cetaphil one. I mean, and it's almost not noticeable. On me, it's like there's zero cast. I could put this all over my face and you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice it. But if you have a deeper skin tone, you may still get a little bit of a white flash with this. Silicones in it as well. Now, silicones are wonderful for applying onto scars because they help lubricate the scar, reduce frictional forces that would otherwise contribute to scar thickening. Um, and topically applied silicones, you know, they are a go-to for improving the look of scars long-term. So I really like the way they designed this formula with scars in mind. It also has panthenol in it, which helps with moisturizing the skin, keeping things lubricated. And it's got allantoin in it, which is anti-inflammatory. Um, this is very good, free of fragrance, no essential oils. If you had surgery and you've got a surgical scar that's healing, 
this is a good one to consider. It will help with healing and will help with the sun protection piece of things. Um, and Derma E is cruelty free and vegan. So those are all the new sunscreens I wanted to review in this video, but honorable mention that's not new, but I have it here because I'm wearing shorts today. Um, and this is what I typically wear on my body is the Eucerin Daily Hydration SPF 30. Uh, this is a great chemical sunscreen, no cast. You can use it on your body or your face. Very moisturizing, sinks into the skin very quickly, has licorice root extract in it, which is anti-inflammatory, helps calm down redness. I mean, I've raved about this so many times, but <laughs> I wanted to bring it up again because it's a very good everyday body and or face sunscreen. Uh, with no cast. This one does not have oxybenzone in it either. Of all the sunscreen chemical filter ingredients, oxybenzone is the one with the like, highest rate of contact sensitivity, people developing allergy to. Oxybenzone is not very strong as a, as a chemical filter, so I'm glad they're kind of shying away from it. I don't think it adds anything. It tends to cause irritation for people. Um, so I'm glad, glad to see that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you found a sunscreen rack here that meets your needs. Uh, don't forget, check out the Drop app, start saving even more. Thank you, Drop, for sponsoring today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.